Kia ora tātai. this is Tiriana Tudor speaking from Peace Within Learning. Thank you for joining me on our journey with Te Whara Te Whare Hoka Hoka and the scholarship that I've um, applied for for a 12-week online e-commerce training. So we have five challenges to do. Day one was eye gazing and our learnings in that and coming out of our comfort zone. Um, day two was proposing and proposing solutions. And day three, which is today <coughs> in Kahau Ite Aos program. Day three was about referring someone and in regards to sales and referring and yeah, letting people know what your kaupapa is about was my um, reflection and so my learnings was about how we are as a people, we can be really reluctant about blowing our trumpet about um, not saying how sweet our kumara is and that humbleness is, this is my opinion of course humbleness can be a little bit um, there can be an ego side of humbleness that you don't accept the gifts that you have that you don't accept um, how brilliant we are as as human beings and and I know in my journey, um, specifically in the business of peace within learning and, and building my skill set and becoming more confident in my art, that if I said to someone that, oh, I was the bomb owl, I would feel like, oh, don't do that, you know, like shame, <laughs> shame on your... <clears throat> Kaka states. So yeah, I was really reluctant to tell people about what I did do and can do um, for shame. And it was probably about two or three years ago that um, I started doing, within my skill set, uh, colour therapy. And one of my clients um, said to me, oh my god, why don't you tell me that you know, this was available and that I could purchase these bottles and what a difference it had made to her and her healing and her journey um, to recovery. And, um, you know, it wasn't that she was mad at me, but she sort of was like, why didn't you tell me that this was available? And so I did, I checked on myself, well, why didn't I tell her what was available? And what was in my way was thinking that maybe she didn't have the money to pay for it or maybe she didn't, you know, see the value in paying for the product and, you know, and I was concerned about her not wanting to buy it. And in the end, you know, her actually purchasing it was like a no-brainer, like in reflection, why would I not want her to use this product? To purchase this product to help herself. So with this challenge, the third challenge of referring someone, why would I not want to refer someone that potentially this could be a real game changer, like I am expecting it to be for me and our business and for me personally as well. So I invited my cousin who's a carver, um, wood carver. I invited my um, work colleague and friend and my cousin said he was pretty interested in it and I asked if I could send him the, the information and he said yes. Um, my work colleague was interested in it and tuned in with herself and said, oh, I've got a few things on already, maybe not, it, you know, maybe not. And, you know, I didn't take either 
answer um, personal, you know, each to every person's decision and choice, and each individual timing is really important as well. And as I was sharing my day one and day two um, experiences with my husband, he turned around and he said that he would like to um, put himself forward as well. And I'm like, wow, that was just from my passion and also our niece's passion of way of being. And in fact, the passion rubbed off on him so much that he was already doing the, the eye gazing and the proposing. And we were having fun, you know, in our, in our whare here with I propose, you do the dishes. <laughs> well, I propose. <laughs> And all these things, so it was a lot of fun. So I've had a lot of joy in today's challenge and wanting to offer this opportunity to other people. So kia ora rā. Thank you to um, Te Whare, Te Whare Huka Huka and the program of Kahau i Te Ao. Thanks for joining me on this journey too, guys. Aroha mai.